In the journey of faith, every step is a doorway into discovery and connection. Enter the updated Mohammedan Way app, your Islamic companion made with the seeker in mind. Now enriched with over 30 innovative features. Dive into the wisdom of thousands of holy hadiths. Immerse yourself in the full holy Quran with comprehensive search, audio, and multiple translations. Experience guidance at its best. Stay in tune with the Islamic events calendar. From du'as for every occasion to digital tasbih and prayer times. The app guides your daily practice. Add free. Join a global community of over 100,000 believers. With the Muhammadan Way app, embracing your faith has never been easier. Download the Muhammadan Way app today. journey of faith, every step is a doorway into discovery and connection. In the heavenly realm, the heart holds a central and revered position, serving as the locus of divine connection and spiritual enlightenment. Drawing from timeless wisdoms, unlocking the six powers of the heart offers insights and guided practices to help individuals purify and awaken the heart towards inner illumination. As a certified Sheikh in the field of meditation, Sheikh Nurjan Mir Ahmadi reveals the six intrinsic powers of the heart, each serving as a key to unlocking the secrets of the human soul. Available on Amazon.com. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Sheikh Nurjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. Inshallah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Introducing Sheikh AI. The Sheikh AI bot is designed to embody the principles of Sufism in the digital realm, providing guidance and wisdom inspired by Maulana Sheikh Nurjan Marahmadi's teachings on spirituality, Islam, and the journey of the soul. The key benefits of this bot includes accessibility to the Sheikh's teachings at any time, helping seekers of knowledge to learn and grow in their spiritual path, compassionate and respectful responses aligned with the Sheikh's approach, fostering a loving environment for discussions on faith, a resource for learning about the practical aspects of Sufism and Islamic spirituality, offering insights into the journey towards divine love. This powerful tool is multilingual and able to converse in many languages. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. We want to say thank you so much for your generous contribution to our Build a Well project at muslimcharity.com. We are actively involved in installing wells all across Pakistan, particularly small towns and villages that are unable to access clean and safe drinking water. We started this well project over a few years ago and with your loving and generous support we have over 1900 wells. Think about that for a second. Not 1900 people, 1900 communities. So this water is helping thousands of people. Subhanallah. Usually to build a well can cost a lot of money, but with the Sheikh's Barakah we were able to bring down the cost to only $300 per well. Every time someone drinks from that water, you get the rewards and blessings. That's why the Sheikh recommends if any of your family is going through issues or hardships, then sponsor a well in their name. Means as long as that well is providing water, you and your loved ones will be getting the reward of it even after you pass away. Also, if you can't afford to buy a well at this time, 
The wells require maintenance, so for only $29, you can help repair that. So again, thank you so much for your contribution and continued support. Insan al Kamil, by author and spiritual guide Sheikh Nurjan Marahmadi, describes that in order to be known, the Divine created a sublime treasure for all of creation. The glorious light and soul of the Insan al Kamil, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Vast universes, including every particle in existence, came into manifestation through this all encompassing ocean of perfection. Order on Amazon.com. Eastern cultures use teas and herbs as an elixir of health and wellness. Rumi Rose Teas revives this ancient tradition with a collection of over 40 delicious hand blended teas. Enjoy God given health and wellness within every cup of Rumi Rose Tea. Order online now. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أنت سلطاننا يا ربنا اغفر لنا وارحمنا وتب علينا وزد حبيبك سيد الأولين والآخرين سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم زده يا رب عزا وشرافا ونورا وسرورا وسلطانا وردوانا رغما في الشيطان ومن تبيه Ibad Allah, Rijal Allah, Adi Suna, Bi Ahalillah, Wa Kunu Aunana Fillah, Asana Hada, Bi Fadlillah, Wa Ya Akta, Wa Ya Anja, Wa Ya Sada, Wa Ya Ahba,
مدد 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 یا سید مدد 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 یا رسول اللہ مدد یا ابو بکر صدیق مدد یا عمر فاروق مدد یا عثمان غانی
Ya Rasul Allah, salamun alayk Ya Rafi'a al-shani wa al-daraji Al-Fatan ya'ji Rata al-alami Ya Uhayl al-judi wa al-karami Ya Rasul Allah, salamun alayk Ya Rafi'a al-shani wa al-daraji Al-Fatan ya'ji Rata al-alami Ya Uhayl al-judi
page number seven, inshallah. Mola Ali, ya Haydar, Mola Ali, ya Haydar, Mola Ali, ya Haydar, Mola Ali, ya Haydar. Zulfiqar la qata illa ali la sayf illa Zulfiqar Uzkuru ala Muhammad kulli laylin wa nahaw Barha gufti Muhammad ke ali jane manas Barha gufti Muhammad ke ali jane manas Hum be jane ali o hum be Muhammad Salawat la qata illa ali la sayf illa Zulfiqar
قتل المالي بابها قال رسول الله أنا مدينة المالي بابها علي بابه علي بابه علي بابه علي بابه علي بابه علي بابه لا قطع إلا علي لا سيف لا يا نقدي بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا نقدي بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أسد الله غالب يا مرتزا يا علي يا أسد الله غالب يا مرتزا يا علي لا فتى إلا علي لا سيف لا زلفقان لا فتى إلا علي لا سيف لا زلفقان أذكروا على محمد كل ليل وانا شوقي زهراء يا شاه مردان يا شاه مردان يا شيري أزدان يا شيري أزدان يا هجم فرمان يا هجم فرمان يا نور الجانان يا نور الجانان أي جان جانان أي جان جانان أي درمان أي درمان لا فتى إلا علي لا سيف لا ذو الفقار لا فتى إلا علي لا سيف لا ذو الفقار أذكروا على محمد كل ليل ونهار بيش 21 إن شاء الله فاتم جان مادر دو جهان فاطم جان دل به تو بستیم محبان تو هستیم دل به تو بستیم محبان تو هستیم نظر کن به انایت به فردای قیامت نظر کن به انایت به فردای قیامت مادر دو جهان فاطم جان پناه همه عالم تو ای فاطمه جانم پناه همه عالم تو ای فاطمه جانم مادر دو جان فاطمه جان دل به تو بستیم محبان تو هستیم دل به تو بستیم محبان تو هستیم نظر کن به نایت به فردای قیامت نظر کن به نایت به فردای Inshallah, Salawat book number 34, page number 74. Ya Nabi, Salam Alayka, Ya Rasul, Salam Alayka, Ya Habib, Salam Alayka, Salawat Allah Alayka. Oh, 
امام الرسل يا, يا سندي انت باب الله فمد فبدنيا يا اخرتي يا رسول الله خذ بيد قسما بالنجم Wow. 
Kowali book, not 42. Many vomit a murisha de ucha, many vomit a murisha de ucha, Uchi on the Sangela, Uchi on the Sangela, many vomit a murisha de ucha. Many vomit a murisha de ucha, Uchi on the Sangela, Uchi on the Sangela, many vomit a murisha de ucha, many vomit a murisha de ucha, Uchi on the Sangela, many vomit a murisha de ucha, Uchi on the موسیقی Asan yaar vato na Mein niwa mera murshad ucha Mein niwa mera murshad ucha Ujhe aake sang laai Murshad de dar Vaze o te mokam laai Choka Murshad de dar Vaze o te mokam laai نبی نبی نا یار بنائے ونگ کمین یا لوکا میں نیوا میرا مرشد اچھا اچھے آتے سنگ لائے ہر 
मुश्किल दे कुंज यारो हद मरदा दे आए हर मुश्किल दे कुंज यारो हद मरदा दे आए मर्द नजार करे जिस वेले मर्द नजार करे जिस वेले मुश्किल रहे ना काए निवा मेरा मुर्शद हो चा मैं निवा मेरा मुर्शद हो चा उचिया दे संग लाए जे मैं वेखा अमला बल्ले कुछ ने मेरे पल्ले जे मैं वेखा अमला बल्ले कुछ ने मेरे पल्ले जे वेखा तेरी रहमत बल्ले जे बेखा तेरी रहमत बल्ले 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 मैं निवा मेरा मुर्शद हो चा मैं निवा मेरा मुर्शद हो चा उचिया दे संग लाए दर मुर्शद खान काबा हज जरूरी करिए दरमोर शद दाबा हज जरूरी करिए तकवा रख महबोबा वाला तकवा रख महबोबा वाला चल दवारा पड़िए मुर्शद हो जा उचिया दे संग लाए मैं निभा मेरा मुर्शद हो जा उचिया दे संग लाए मैं निभा मेरा मुर्शद हो जा सद के जावाए ना उचिया तो जिन्ना सद के जावाए ना उचिया तो जिन्ना नेव्या नाल निभाए नेव्या नाल निभाए मैं निभा मेरा मुर्शद ऊंचा मीठा मीठा है मेरे मोहम्मद का नाम मीठा मीठा है मेरे मोहम्मद का नाम उन पे लाखों
से साकल वो जिनके दर का है हाफिज भी अदना गुलाम उन पे लाखों करोड़ों दूर दो सलाम मीठा मीठा है मेरे मोहम मद का नाम मीठा मीठा है मेरे मोहम मद का नाम उन पे लाखों करोड़ो दूर दो सलाम उन पे लाखों करोड़ो दूर दो सलाम इंशाल्लाह आन दो इंशाल्लाह आन दो उर्दू को वाली बुक नाथ सिक्सटीन पेज फोर्टी टू लीज मोहम्मद नाम लीज मोहम्मद नाम सल्लल्लाह लीज मोहम्मद नाम लीज मोहम्मद नाम सल्लल्लाह लीज मोहम्मद नाम लीज मोहम्मद नाम तेरे बगैर बने सब काम तेरे बगैर बने सब काम लीज मोहम्मद नाम लीज मोहम्मद नाम सल्लल्लाह लीज मोहम्मद नाम ले जो मोहम्मद नाम महके उठाए के एक घर आगन महके उठाए के एक घर आगन उजियारों से तन मन दर्पण उजियारों से तन मन दर्पण उनके नाम से सुबह रोशन उनके नाम से सुबह रोशन जगमग उनसे शाम जगमग उनसे शाम ले जो मोहम्मद नाम ले जो मोहम्मद नाम सल्ला ले जो मोहम्मद नाम ले जो मोहम्मद नाम रूप स्वरूप अनूप नारा रूप ते जैसे नूर की धारा बातें जैसे नूर की धारा सबका भरोसा सबका सहारा सबका भरोसा सबका सहारा उन पे दरू दो सलाम उन पे दरू दो सलाम ले जो मोहम्मद नाम ले जो मोहम्मद सल्लाह ले जो मोहम्मद नाम ले जो मोहम्मद नाम उनकी सूरत प्यारी प्यारी उनकी सूरत प्यारी प्यारी उनकी खुशबू क्यारी क्यारी उनकी खुशबू क्यारी क्यारी दो जग में उनकी सरदारी दो जग में उनकी सरदारी हम सब चाकर बेदा हम सब चाकर बेदा लेज मोहम्मद नाम लेज मोहम्मद नाम सल्लाह लेज मोहम्मद नाम लेज मोहम्मद नाम एक नाम बचाता है मुझे रंजोलम से एक नाम बचाता है मुझे रंजोलम से एक जात है मुझको जो बिगड़ने नहीं देती एक जात है मुझको जो बिगड़ने नहीं देती कोई और बचाए ना बचाए मुझे ना से कोई और बचाए ना बचाए मुझे ना से एक नात ही सरकार की मरने नहीं देती एक नात ही सरकार की मरने नहीं देती ले जो मोहम्मद ना ले जो मोहम्मद नाम सल्लाह ले जो मोहम्मद ना ले जो मोहम्मद नाम सल्लाह ले जो मोहम्मद ना ले जो मोहम्मद नाम सल्लाह ले जो मोहम्मद नाम ले जो मोहम्मद नाम موسیقی من شیخ شام کبانی شیخ ادم کبانی شیخ محمد عادل من دخالی کد خوش دوانی صاحب زمان سید محمد مهدی علیه السلام روح الله سید نایی صلی الله علیه السلام سیف الله سید نایی سلام ثم سید نامو بکر صدیق سید نامو مار سید نامو اسمان 
Imam al-Hassan a.s., Imam al-Husayn a.s., Sayyidat al-Fatima a.s. wa sa'iru wa sa'adatina wa sadaqeena al-Fatiha. Al-Shafat ya Rasul al-Kareem fi Shahr al-Mubarak, Shahr al-Hamadan fi Laylat al-Mubarak, Laylat al-Qadr insha'Allah. Ta'ala Allah dress us from the immensities of these lights and these blessings. Fa'uzu billahi min ash-shaitanir rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Mati Allah, Tiya Rasulu wa Lul Amri minkum. And always a reminder for myself and Abdul Jisr al-Da'ifu, Miskeenu, Zalim, Jahal. And but for the grace of Allah that we still in existence. And alhamdulillah that Allah gave us a, a life to reach these blessings and immense dressings. Some may not understand the extent of what Allah has given of a gift of the gift of guidance and the gift of ishq and muhabbat of Sayyidina Muhammad And to be under the hands of awliyaullah and the nazar of awliyaullah and under their uloom and their knowledges that this gift Allah has given is an immense reality. And one day we may grow into a state in which to understand the gift that Allah has given and all that He asked in return is a life of service and khidmat. The only purpose of our existence through difficulties, through goodness is our khidmat. A life that has no khidmat is a life that wasted where the enemy calls us to be cattle and says that we're nothing but animals and the sadness of that statement is that if we live our life only to eat, to drink and to produce waste, sitting, doing nothing, working, going nowhere then our life is nothing more than animals. This life that Allah has given through guidance and the guidance of awliya whom they are connected to the heart of Prophet and they take from the way of Sayyidina Muhammad was that your life's only purpose and the owner of our lives, the majesty of our lives, the purpose of our lives, the light of our lives is our khidmat, our service. This service is what distinguishes us and what raises us in our nobility, raises us in our lights and our proximity to the Divinely Presence. We say it's not the studying of knowledges that one day Allah will open a knowledge or give an, an enlightenment of a knowledge or the, the study of memorizing or praying excessively, that these are all the things that we have to do of what Allah has commanded us to do. But the fruits of this path and the essence of this path is based on khidmat, that our life is to serve. And we serve, قُلِينَ الصَّلَاةِ وَحْنُسُقِ وَحْمَ يَعْيَ وَحْمَ مَتِ لِلَّهِ الرَّبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ That whatever Allah has given to us is on the table of my sustenance, my time, my ability, my skills, my life, my death. All of that is for Rabbil Alameen, to serve the, the Lord Most High and to serve His Divinely Government. And these are the Arbab, the Lordly Souls. This is a purpose of our lives. So we write in our notes and our post-it notes and post upon our walls that my life its only honour and the only way to achieve its honour is khidmat. And this is all common sense for what, what else gives honour? You pray, that doesn't give you honour, this was your commandment. So the things that Allah has ordered for us to do, this doesn't distinguish us in honour, those were commanded to do. And those were to save our own soul. The life of services they did the commandments, they do their commandments to the best of their abilities and they give themselves to the Divine, the Presence that, Ya Rabbi that led me to serve the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad And as a result we are placed into the service of Sayyidina Muhammad and under the hukum and the government of Sayyidina Muhammad 
And that's why then Allah guides the souls to the way of tarbiyah and tariqah. That if you want to serve the king, you have to have manners. For how can somebody serve a king and has no manners? Everything they would be doing would be insulting, would be rude and would be a horrible ambassadorship of the holy and divinely king of the heavens. So means the tariqah comes to teach that you've been enrolled, this is a gift from Allah And the hint of this gift is your life is to serve, but you can't serve with what you don't have. So then they ask us to learn, they learn from the teachings, learn from the meditation, learn from the tafakkur who, who knows himself will know his Lord. His tafakkur and contemplation is always in the presence of his shaykh, he never meditates by himself with himself because take the word self and say ego. That he doesn't meditate with his ego, his ego will tell him there's no need for anyone but me. And the ego already is shariq with shaitan because he comes from jahannam. Means everyone has a kareen within themselves and that, that being within us is from jahannam. He likes jahannam, he makes partners with the people of jahannam. Means then to know myself and to know my Lord is to always be in the company, wa kunu ma asadaqeen itaqullah. And we described before Allah says, have a taqwa. Means be with those whom really achieve taqwa and keep their presence at all times. In your spiritual life, your physical life is all one. All times keep the presence of the shaykh, the madad and the support and the nazar of the shaykh so that when you meditate, means that the Two people when they gather in a room, the third is going to be shaitan. So anyone who meditate and tafakkur by themselves, shaitan is sitting right there. As soon as you make your tafakkur and contemplation, you make sure that the shaykh is with you, that you're asking for the madad of the shaykh, the presence of the shaykh, the light of the shaykh to be present with me and I wish to connect to my reality, connect to the oceans of light, connect to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad connect to the presence of the shaykh to reach the fires, the lights and the energies. And that becomes a, a security within this way of contemplation. So that shaitan doesn't come to make difficulties, that shaitan doesn't come to de beguile or to confuse the servant with different coordinates and different understandings and different directions. These are the safeguards that Allah has given to the nation. This is a, an ancient way, the way of muraqaba and tafakkur and rabita making the connection. As a result we understand that this is an immense gift. When we make our tafakkur, make our connection, make our, our entry into the world of light, we realize that these souls and these shaykhs, these guides and these holy souls take us into this world of malakut and world of light and that all their reality is from that light, all their knowledges are from that light and that they are present in that kingdom bringing that light upon this earth to guide humanity back to the world of light. And this becomes the blessings of Allah the dressings that Allah has given to this as soon as they meditate and contemplate and then and begin to understand within their heart that the owner of our being is in our service. When we serve the nation, when we serve by spreading knowledges, we serve by praising, we serve by whatever we have our ability to serve by writing articles, editing articles, posting and every type of service that people can do, give food, give water. These services give our soul its nobility, give Allah the ability to look to the soul and find its satisfaction. That is you serve the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad then Allah begin to grant the du'a of that servant. Because uh, the dunya life teaches people that keep asking Allah for what you want but yet we didn't accomplish what Allah wanted for us and they feel that the du'as don't get answered. And the tariqah comes and teaches the subtlety of adab and the subtlety of manners. How can I ask Allah for what I want when I haven't done what He has wanted for me? 
And that's why they come and teach that meditate because you can't give what you don't have. When you meditate and in the, the way that they've taught and if you don't know you email helpme at nurmuhammad.com, the moderators put the link within the comments that email and we give you the way of meditation and tafakkur to protect you from the, the khayrat, the bewilderment of shaitan and the hallucinations of shaitan so that you can make your connection, make your way of tafakkur and to reach to this power, to reach to these lights and as a result then be inspired in which to serve. That as I connect to the light and perfect my character, bring down my anger, bring down my bad characteristics, my life is to serve. And as a result of that service I serve Allah and I serve Sayyidina Muhammad And as a result of that service then I'm under the umbrella of Sayyidina Muhammad His holy companions, His holy Ahlul Bayt and all His awliyaullah fi samahi wa fil And when your life is so much in service they put together and put back your life. This is the secret of running toward the light and the light runs towards you. But when you redirect yourself away from the light and you begin to chase your dunya thinking, I'll fix my things and put my things in order means then you are by yourself trying to do what you want to do and, and arrange things that you want to arrange. And anyone whom has tried that it doesn't work. You can't make your family believe, you can't make the people whom you love to understand. You can do nothing, you can barely do anything for yourself more or more less do anything for anyone else. And this is what Prophet was teaching the companions, means that when you run towards the light your shadow runs after you, everything is in your shadow. All this dunya and all your love and all your family everything is you assume is within that shadow. Because as you run to the light you're running towards Allah you're running towards Allah's representative, Allah's, Allah's guide, Allah's lawmaker means the presence of Prophet encapsulates all these realities of Allah so it means the Prophet told the companions and he stood by the sun, he says, run towards the light. And as they were running towards the light so their shadow is running after them. Means Allah sets the affairs of the servant in order. That when you run towards Allah you feed Allah's servants, you, you clothe Allah's servants, you, you do your da'wah, you do all that the shaykhs are asking. Allah looks to your entire dunya and sets your life and its affairs in order. Allah makes the children then to believe, Allah makes the life to be peaceful, everybody in the home to be peaceful. Everything that Allah wants other than what's going to be a test, Allah puts the affairs of the servant in order. Allah sends the rizq for the servant, everything for the servant. But when the servant decides that, no, through my cleverness maybe I'll chase my shadow. And instead of Prophet with the sun they turn their back and run the other way. And anyone chasing their shadow eventually will realize you'll never catch it. And that's why Allah sewed it to your feet. Allah gives the example of your shadow that if you're going to chase your shadow means He's always running away from you. You can make nobody to believe, you can make no peace within your home, you can make nothing to be accomplished, you cannot make your rizq to be sufficient, nothing because Allah won't let it to happen. Those whom Allah loves and gives the love and the ishq like a, a kiss within their heart and soul, it will never be satisfied until they run towards the light. And other, other than that people find themselves chasing shadows. And alhamdulillah that Allah gave to us this immense blessing, immense blessing that all it requires is that we turn around and face Prophet And as a result we give our initiation to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad by the hands of these awliya, inna ladheena yubayyunaka yubayyunullah yadullahi fawqaydeen. Means that Allah's hand upon that hand 
and that we don't take that hand away except to the detriment of our soul. It's a covenant that reaches deep within the reality of the soul. And this is an immense blessing, immense blessing that as soon as we run toward the light and serve that light, serve that reality, serve our life has a, a fragrance and a beauty, has a purpose. And as a result of being completely lost in this love and in this service, you begin to realize as you look Allah has put everything in order. Allah has made your loved ones to believe. Allah has made your life and your family to be in peace. Allah has brought rizq for you in ways that you can never have imagined because you face the light and you serve the light. That don't put your heart into dunya, that's what it means. It doesn't mean that you don't have dunya because they come to these servants of light and they say, oh they have an immense amount of dunya well, because they serve Malik al-Mulk, how could they not have? When they face the light and move towards the light, all of the heavens and earth will be at their feet. But those whom run after that reality, they left the world of light. This is a immense blessings on these realities of Laylatul Qadr and the, the, the way of light and power, that this power is the abundance of Divinely lights. These Divinely lights are from the heart and the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad As a result of this ishq and this love his servants are fulqul mashhoom, loaded, loaded ships with electricity, with lights, with blessings. However people want to describe it, they're overcome and overwhelmed by the love of Prophet فَاتَّبِعُونِ That Allah gives to us that if you want my love فَاتَّبِعُونِ And then if you follow that way and dress يُحِبُّكُمُ Allah means that when we… life is فَاتَّبِعُونِ and to follow that way we find ourselves now Allah's Divinely love upon our reality. That Divinely love is the love that sets all your life and its affairs in order. Because you live the life of service, you live a life of service and you serve unto the last breath of your dunya and at the end you meet Allah Zawajal Alhamdulillah that I did all that I could and all that was in my ability and your life was worth living, the purpose of your life was worth living. In these days of difficulty everyone take an account of themselves. They say calamity is coming, they say EMP attack is coming, that somebody is going to take out the electricity, somebody is going to do this, somebody… At any moment, at any moment everywhere on this earth things are going to be happening. We see it, you know you can't be an ostrich with your head in the sand say, he's not coming. Well that's what the people thought when they were in their homes and said, no it's never coming and look to them and what type of horrific difficulty has opened upon the earth. And as this world is being filled with oppression and zulm and darkness and, and every type of difficulty, why Allah to keep me alive? Why Allah to, to, to want me to be protected? When we ask ourselves these honest questions, no, because I, I fast so amazing, of course Allah is going to keep me, astaghfirullah. So who fasts amazing nowadays is beyond me, it's, it's, it's not going to be that. Who prays so amazingly that Allah is impressed with them? But awliya come into our life that when Allah is taking an account of who comes, who goes, who stays, who serves, what's the purpose of your existence? Ya Rabbi keep me to be alive to be with Sayyidina Mahdi to serve the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad to spread the da'wah, spread the love, spread the hope, to be the bearers of hope in immensely dark nights, immensely dark days. Ya Rabbi give me a purpose in which your ridha and satisfaction upon that and based on your ridha and satisfaction an amazing umbrella of protection comes upon that servant. That Allah happy with the servant and says, for the sake of what you do, 
for the sake of what you offer to the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad I protect you and I put an umbrella over you and I shield you wa yansurqullahu nasran azizah that nothing, nothing comes to you without my will, that nothing can harm you, my will is, is covering you. Means this is an immense, immense protection, immense light and blessings. When Allah describe awliyaullah that they neither fear nor grieve. The immensity of that reality is what to fear if they're good with Allah What to grieve if they know what Allah took from them is what Allah wanted, what Allah gave to them is what Allah wanted and they find happiness in Allah's satisfaction and what Allah wanted for them. Bi izzatika sajidan wa bi qismatika radiyan Bi izzah and might their sujood, their prayers, their life, their service and whatever has qismat for them and written for them they take upon their eyes and alhamdulillah wa shukran lillah. We pray that Allah give us an awakening that, why am I here? I'm here to serve the nation of Prophet to be with these awliya, to be with those trained by awliya, to live a life to spread the light and the love and the, the hope of the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad in the ever darkening zulamat approaching upon this earth. We pray that Allah accept this khidmat, grant us the love of Sayyidina Muhammad dress us from the immense lights and blessings of Laylatul Qadr and that every night to be a Laylatul Qadr salamun hiya hatta mitla al-fajr. That every day, every night, that every day to be dressed by these immense blessings upon the heart and soul. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzata amma yasifu wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Alhamdulillah that the app, amazing, amazing work for the, the people involved with this app. MashaAllah Allah give them immense blessings, immense rewards for here and hereafter for their families and all their loved ones. That the, the architecture of the app alhamdulillah with a few other things that have to be added, now is the phase of data and information. Anyone whom is a addant user or is sincerely using the app that whatever you're coming across of data missing, data should be added, the suggestions. If it's a lot put it on an excel sheet, mail it to help me at nurmuhammad.com and begin to go through the data, what's missing, what are the bugs, what are the issues, what would we like to see within that and then you email that to us and then we can email that to the, the tech people. That way the data can start to be worked on and it will be fixed over the air. Doesn't have to be a major upgrade, it can be continuously fixed over the air because we're on our own servers now. So this is a immense project, the AI is immense project and inshaAllah AI integrating within the app, integrating within emails and email replies soon. So, so many projects, the production projects, the, the charity and the charity work that Northern California now has their van wrapped and uh, the Pakistan, India, Kenya, Nigeria, California, Northern California, Chicago and uh, Vancouver, all, all of these locations, uh, wells probably 4,000 by the end of this month and uh, anybody saw our global report hundreds of thousands of pounds of food saved and distributed to those in need. Regardless of the religious background that hunger has no religion, these are the creations of Allah and we are the ambassadors of the heavens and the ambassadors of Sayyidina Muhammad So amazing accomplishments. So we ask that people participate in these programs, participate in the charities, that uh, to give to the charity of the tariqah, support the tariqah, support its efforts so that these projects grow. 
do your da'wah and sending to your relatives when you know that they're supporting someone else. Say, support my tariqah, support the charity, look at the global impact, look at all the different projects they've done and the extent of the perfection of the projects is they're all the shaykh's students. We don't give to people and don't know what they're doing. These are all the students that take the food, take the goods and distribute, make the wells and put the plaques and signs. So this is a, a amazing, amazing blessings that Allah has given us this honour and that the, the growth is phenomenal but yet it can grow infinite in its capacity as uh, day by day more students come online and ask that if they can begin to distribute in their areas. All it takes is put a shirt and give sandwich and food. If you find it to be in need and people are, are, are in want of that then Allah sends, Allah sends from ways that people could never imagine and then our Mawlid and Nabi that gives the purpose and the, the essence of that khidmat is the Grand Mawlid in Vancouver and now a Grand Mawlid coming in Northern California in the Bay Area that already paid deposits put and now in the process of marketing, developing and putting the design together. That Allah grant us a life and a, and a strength to do more and more. InshaAllah Mawlid in Kenya, the guys in Nigeria want to do something, a huge Mawlid always in Pakistan, over 700 orphans brought in by buses to celebrate the love. <coughs> to a group of people who don't feel like the love that your children have and my children have. And for them it's important to show that Prophet loves them, never forgets about them and that that look into their hearts and that they become rijal one day remembering that, oh when I was an orphan a group came and told me that Prophet never forgot me. We don't know the effect of that, we pray that Allah make all these people, boys and girls to be Rijalullah under the flags of Sayyidina Mahdi So these are immense projects. The Mawlid in, in India again immense, two, three hundred uh, madrasa students coming for Mawlid and Nabi We pray that Allah grant on Laylat Qadr his azimat. Ya Surukullahu Nasr and Aziz, Ya Rabbi grant us from your immense oceans of power, immense oceans of rizq and sustenance that to block the barriers from allowing these blessings to reach to these people, these places, these locations. From your servants whom you have hidden under your dome through their generosity, their ability, Ya Rabbi that you direct their hearts towards this organization towards its people and that they support and that they enter into the tariqah as an immense help and support. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Shafati ala Surat al-Kareem inshaAllah. InshaAllah what we have from our online audience and the immense importance of a, a family that we always try to remind ourselves to be very loving, very happy, very smiley. I always remember that in the visiting of Mawlana Shaykh Sultanul Awliya that the immense happiness in the heart that he was always smiling, always happy, very loving, just the immensity and the great sadness of that not being on this earth anymore. And the earth doesn't need hardness, doesn't need angry faces of guidance but needs a happy people in an unhappy time. We pray that they dress us from these tajallis on all of us to be happy in Allah's way regardless of whatever we may deem to be difficult is Allah's love dresses us then the, the, the face should show it with happiness and, and khushya and softness within the heart inshaAllah Allah's to make us to be the servants of love and ishq and to remember Sultanul Awliya at every moment 
of the good character, the good manners and the immense love. And, and my shaykh Mawlana Shaykh Hisham that Allah bless his soul infinite and what his, his gift and his knowledge and his capacity and his love that granted upon the heart inshaAllah. Assalamu alaikum Sayyidi Wa alaikum salam <laughs> Sayyidi there's a couple of questions from the last night lecture inshaAllah Alhamdulillah uh, We have all prophets are gathered around the calf of the Qur'an and drive their realities from it. Does this mean their books also originated from the Qur'an? This is the, this is the, the teachings. This is the reality of tawheed. We said that you know the external people they, they think the kalima la ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu so they think very little of it. But every reality exists within the kalima. Means that the only way to la ilaha illallah anciently is Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So in the world what does that mean? That Muhammad Rasulullah is the entirety of light. Every Prophet's soul is within that light made from Muhammadun Rasulullah all gathered around the qalb. We can't put an image to it so that's why we image and imagine like Atisha Gul. What was the, the nut that we listened to Haji Bilan? Anjumana Atisha Gul. Who's this Anjuman? Who are these gatherings? They gather around this beatific fire, not a fire that people can understand, but like a like a flower. So pure. The light when it's so pure, only thing you know of it in dunya is a fire. Because fire you use to purify things. When something is not right or has impurity what you do in science or in gold and then you put it into the fire and the fire take away all impurities. Because we can't give an image to something, we give an image saying that the, all these souls are gathered around and divinely fire. That divinely fire from Qur'an, what Allah an Allah, the fire when it talked it said, I am Allah. But Allah has no shaykh, no form. But this just for us to understand when these souls in the Muhammadan light, all from Muhammadun Rasulullah they gather around the light, then every knowledge, every book came from that fire, came from Allah's speech. Everything of that fire is Qur'an. When it doesn't manifest and at a higher level, Illahul Mahfuz, the preserved tablet. On what, what written and what destined. And Ummul Kitab. In which Allah fire is being revealed to the soul of Prophet but not spoken. So means then these are immense realities, everything coming from that fire, everything this is Manzil Qur'an, this is the house of Qur'an. So everything coming from that Divinely speech, where else could it come from because this is Tawheed doesn't come from a different location because it's a different book, all of it is under Muhammadun Rasulullah So he owns all books and that's why all books are under this reality of the speech of Allah the, And they're books that are in truth. By the time the reality came to the dunya has been the, corrupted by millions. And that's why in all of these books now are corrupted books except for Holy Qur'an which is the original blockchain. Every other book 
Ooh, there was 30,000 Council of Nasiya they had 30,000 versions of different scripts, none of them from the presence of their Prophets. So the only one that Allah sent because of the last days and the deen of Allah is Islam. So according then of Allah's deen of course it's going to come safeguarded, came on the original blockchain. That's why now everybody holds a key because the concept of the blockchain is it's stored in everybody's heart. So all these hafiz and reciters of Holy Qur'an means hafiz means guardians. When somebody becomes a guardian of Holy Qur'an they're a part of the blockchain. How many hundreds of millions have memorized the Qur'an entirely? So these are the safeguard Allah put for Holy Qur'an. So if somebody tries to manipulate from their country and reprint something in the Qur'an, the 900 million or 400 million memorizers will point out this been changed. Now negate this country because they're tampering with Qur'an and many have tried to tamper with it and the hafizes have jumped in and said, no, no this is wrong. Even in the recitation when the imam is reciting on taraweeh, they're showing on social media the imam, big imam is reciting and a child is correcting him because he's hafiz but the imam is not hafiz. This is a sign that Allah safeguarded the Qur'an. So this is, a, this is the amazing gift for the nation who carries the religion of Allah upon the earth. Where everyone thought, oh it's all the religions, no they showed themselves not to be the religions of Allah they became human worshippers. The true religion of Allah, the only religion of Allah and in the last days will be the only power of Allah is in Islam. And that we describe the knowledges when Sayyidina Zulqarnayn said, we came across a people whom hardly knew a word. Means look at the languages on this earth right now none of which have power. The only language that has power means connected to an ocean of haqqaiq and reality is the Qur'anic Arabic because it comes with the power of Sayyidina Muhammad what you recite from it is directly connected into the heavens and they can begin to emanate Divinely power and Divinely qudra upon this earth to the defense of humanity. Not a single language like that remains. There used to be other languages but they sold their souls to devils. As a result if they recite that language is locked. And the only power they're receiving are from the jinn and the jan and the dajjal. So this is a I- I- immense, immense, you, Chinese has no power, English has no power, Spanish has no power, <laughs> it's none of these languages. That's what Zulqarnayn meant, we came across a people whom had barely a, a word. Not that they didn't speak but their words had no, no rohaniyat, it was not connected to Divine powers, right? Farsi has because it's rooted in Qur'an and rooted in power, Urdu has because they have the roots of all of these realities. Means these are languages connected and flowers of the Holy Qur'an because they take their realities from that reality. As a result when they recite and when they speak it has a power from the heavenly and Divine the Kingdom and the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Wa Alaykum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah uh, See there's a question in the reference of the verse from the Qur'an. In Surah Al-A'raf verse 16 of the Qur'an, uh, Shaitan said, Because you have led me astray, I will surely lie in wait for them on your straight path. And we learned the straight path means Sirat al Mustaqeem. Does this mean that shaitan is explicitly stating his intentions to obstruct our love for and adherence to Sayyidina Muhammad? You is a good question, that's the common sense. If you're not on Sirat al Mustaqeem, why shaitan want to bother you? You're already on his path. So you, you look to other nations, Prophet described. Uh, through, I think through Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq that every time I pray 
this shaitan is, is bothering me and why? Is it because shaitan doesn't go to the barn and think he wants to steal something? He goes to the palace where there's jewels trying to steal something. The prayer of a believer is filled with the jewels of heavens and shaitan want to take from that reality. But the, the actions of corrupt people shaitan already has them, those are his murids why he wants to bother them. And that's why you see the battle is against Islam because who's not the murid of uh, shaitan on this earth right now? Islam. Which Islam? The one that loves Sayyidina Muhammad because they have a fake Islam. Right? They build masjids to deviate people from the reality of Islam. I think what is 9107? Is that right? Anybody know English? Uh, Junaid, you know English? Let's go 9107. Is that the ayah? And those hypocrites who built a mosque to cause harm and due to disbelief and in order to cause divisions among the Muslims and to await the one who is at the outset an opponent of Allah and his noble messenger. And they will surely swear that we wished only good and Allah is witness that they are indeed liars. No 108. Never stand for worship in that mosque. Indeed the mosque that has been founded on piety from the very first day deserves that you should stand in it. In it are the people who wish to thoroughly cleanse themselves and Allah loves the clean. The mosque built by the hypocrites, the mosque at Kuba, built by the Holy Prophet and his companions, the merit no, of that's, that's the history, then this history is not relevant. What Allah give is the word mutahireen. Who, who, are, who are people in a masjid who are mutahireen? So Allah one is ordering us and telling us, why you think the, the masjids are built for Allah? Be careful of these people whom pretend to be from Islam, who even they sold their Islam and they support masjids on all over this earth. The same guy who sold Islam now in that area. He sends the money to support all the masjids on earth and then he puts his imam from the people whom sold the religion that they don't believe in love in Sayyidina Muhammad and Allah's command in this is, don't go into those masjids. Go to the masjid in which their intention was pure. Who has pure intention now? They have to be Ahlul Dhikr, the people of Dhikrullah. Not the anjuman of uh, presidents and council of this, council of that, they get together, they want to build structures and build masjid all on every block and they, they connive and steal and cheat, they call people don't go to his maulid. These are conniving thieves, these are not the <laughs> mutahireen. Who are the mutahireen in which they sit, they do dhikr, their hearts are clean, they have a fear of Allah and Allah said, pray only in those places of mutahireen, at least the ahlul dhikr, dhikrullahi tatma'in al qulub. If they're not cleaning their heart, how could their structure be clean when all inside of them and all the people gathered inside the structure are not clean and not taking away to be clean? So, no, every masjid is not built for Allah. Many in the last days they're built for shaitan and Allah describes in this verse 107 and 109 from Surah Tawbah, the gate of our way. We enter through Baba Tawbah. Allah gives our guidelines within the Qur'an, be careful. You know this the last days these masjids left and right they're, they're meant to deceive you so that you step in and you lose your faith, you lose your love. This everything is a shirk, you begin to have fear. 
and be, you begin to have the madhab of shaitan. Shaitan doesn't accept any Bani Adam and say, I would never sujood for any Bani Adam, I only worship Allah. But this is the madhab of shaitan, worshipness for Allah but love for Sayyidina Muhammad is our way. So that the adab of shaitan is going to now come upon this earth with his dajjal, his dajjal is a jinn coming with the aqeedah of shaitan where they say, oh no we worship only Allah and we blow up and destroy everything. Why you blow up and destroy everything? Oh because we were trying to purify everything for Allah. Are you kidding me? Allah's creation, Prophet the Messenger of Allah not a water can be poisoned, not an animal can be harmed, not a child can be harmed. This is the way of the heavens, Allah created all His creation with love. So we see that on this earth now but people don't believe it. So we said, what is the masjid of Allah? Qalbul Mu'min, the heart of the Mu'min, that's what Allah built. The rest of the buildings you people built. And you pray hope there's somebody pious in there, if not they're gonna shake you out of everything and take away your faith and leave you with an empty structure. And then the people go bankrupt, they feel nothing, they have no love for Prophet they're just uh, sitting there doing nothing. And this is the, the deceit of the last days, especially when these are being funded by the people who sold the religion. So, mutahireen. That same, same word Allah is describing, none will know the Qur'an except the mutahireen. So many people think they're picking up the Qur'an, we say, don't pick up the Qur'an when you're dirty, only pick up the Qur'an when you are mutahireen. Well people thought, okay they have to make wudu, you know, physical wudu, okay yes physical wudu but more important than your physical wudu because wudu could be one cup of water because it wasn't about the water, it was about the action of wudu but the real wudu was the heart. So if unless your heart is clean and your blood is clean, Allah said, don't touch the Qur'an unless you're mutahireen because it will be of no benefit to you. You look at it and only coming for you is right and wrong because Qur'an is reading the servant. So everything Allah is always coming back to mutahireen, be pure. What? Dhikrullahi tatwani qulub. You have to be from people of dhikrullah because dhikrullah means they're continuously polishing, making salawat, making their durood, making istighfar, istighfar. Last days, why astaghfirullah ladheem wa tubu alayk and durood al-sharif. Because Ayatul Qur'an where Allah said, I won't punish them while they're making tawbah and that you're in His… in their presence. So we're trying to save people from Allah's ghadab and anger where Allah from Qur'an is giving people because they say, Shaykh we don't speak from Qur'an, all of the teaching is from Qur'an, it's just you don't know the Qur'an. Allah's shelter from punishment in Ayatul Qur'an was I would not punish them while they're making istighfar and that you are present with them. So this is our protection in the last days, all day long every day make istighfar because Allah said they're making istighfar. Then they make durood the sharif in the second half of the day, why? So that Prophet ﷺ's soul will be present with them. Then Allah said, I'm not going to punish you, you just ask for forgiveness, you're making durood the sharif and the soul of Prophet ﷺ is with you. How I want to punish you when Prophet's soul is right there with you, giving you back salams. So don't make it complicated, it's very easy but people just have to hear and follow. When we said about the masjid they say, oh what are you talking about? I'm telling you Allah is warning you, don't go, you don't have to take your family to a, a place and then get confused, you don't have to do this, you, you know, women definitely don't have to go for Jummah. So this, this, they don't have to find these structures and, and find fitna. You just do your practices, watch online, connect with your shaykh and, and pray that you stay safe through very, very difficult times that are coming meant to confuse people so that they leave the umbrella of protection. So when everybody's under the umbrella of protection shaitan is whistling to somebody, come, come, leave the umbrella. 
Why? So he takes them out and destroys them. There's no protection with shaitan, inshaAllah. Uh, Sayyidi, this question comes in an email. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa uh, We're trying to learn meditation and establish a connection. During meditation we face demonic wild animals and a big devil holding them with a chain. What should we do when this occurs during meditation? <coughs> Keep making your connection. That's nice that Allah allowed you to see that because that's the reality for everybody. Tafakkur is not something easy especially from uh, the, the shaykhs when they're giving a permission. They're giving permission for you not to fight your devils. So as soon as you try to sit and you do it according to how it's being taught, ask for the shaykh to be present. And as a result of the shaykh being present it's a mirror of truth. Then if you start to see the devil and all these things and this is a sign that these are your characters, these are the dogs that, that are holding you and in, in, in you and around you. Keep making your rabita, then begin your awrah. Your zikrs or if you're doing breathing meditation you breathe, if you're doing your salawats with your tafakkur then you start doing your salawat. This is the, the whole way, this is the reality of the way. InshaAllah. Make sure you write the realities because then you don't understand the teaching. You come back uh, two years later say, what the shaykh said and you don't remember nothing. When you write, it writes into your heart. Even you wrote it a hundred times, it's a hundred and one times into your heart. If you're sitting just looking and not writing it's not going into you, it's just coming through your ear and going out. Then if they come back and say, what the shaykh said tonight? You say, I don't know, I don't remember. You're, you're not an advanced person that is absorbing everything, that, that doesn't happen. It's a people whom write, why? Because when you write it writes to your hard drive. When you don't write it's not writing to your hard drive, it's going to the hallucination of your brain, right? Because this is a very high level to think that your heart is absorbing realities. But you have to write it to your hard drive. The only way to write it onto your hard drive is when you write by your hand. When you write by your hand it's on your book, in your kitab, on your soul and actually your book. So you can go back and say, what did the shaykh just say? What did he say last night? You have it. If you let it through your ear then whatever shaitan is talking to you, you heard it something different. He said this and this and says, he didn't say that because your shaitan came and retranslated it. So that's the secret of this way is based on the qalam, iqra bi ismi rabbika nabi. So this way of iqra is bil qalam, alam bil qalam, taught by the qalam. Even you heard it a thousand times, read it a thousand and one times, that may be the time in which Allah unlocks something for you. Right? People say, oh I, 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 what dhikrullah? I said Allah, that's it. Why well, have to say Allah, 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 Allah? Are you serious? You thought like you said it one time is something open for you? Your secret may be in ten million Allahs and you decided to stop on the fifth Allah. Say, I did not fall. No, our life is you do, you do, you do until Allah open and click. And all of a sudden that knowledge became something real for you and inspired within the heart you understood that. And then your whole life back and back and back and you keep referencing your notes, look to your notes and these are also burned within your, your heart, your soul and the angels change your sustenance. Because now you're walking kitab of Haqiqat al-Muhammadiyya. So everything about that servant begins to change, this is the honour and the dress of the servant, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. Sayyidi, often we feel as though the regulator assigned to us is trying to steal our positive energy 
leaving us feeling powerless to stop it. How can we maintain our positive energy? Alhamdulillah Sharif Shaykh, Alhamdulillah. This is the job of shaitan, your regulator is a shaitan from that talk. Everybody has a shaitan assigned to them otherwise they would be superheroes. Now was the talk we gave, how many trillion cells do we have? Huh? Nine trillion cells and uh, I don't know, I don't remember the number and you had three, four volts per cell of uh, electricity. I mean you have like 70 trillion volts of energy on you and scientists are baffled that they say, we, we know scientifically it's true that there's about 70 trillion volts of electricity on a human being but we don't understand where is it. You know what you could do with 70 trillion volts of electricity? Your, be your own stargate, you turn your energy and you move through dimensions. You turn on your energy through your mind, you make everybody to believe what you want to believe. You through your energy you can lift the entire room, the entire globe. This is the haqqaiq of the soul. So Allah didn't send the superheroes onto this earth, they're from paradise. You're more powerful than angels. They show at these movies, oh the Anunnaki came, they were giant angels, they came upon this earth, they created big fitna as if this was something, oh you are more powerful than angels. The angels they made sujood to you and your grandfather, right? Bani Adam, wa lakal karamna Bani Adam, alama isma kullaha, it was taught in knowledge. And the angels went in sujood al ihtiram. So, what do you think about then the people whom are custodians of knowledge on this earth? Yeah, so they're more powerful than angels. So, where are these then 70 trillion volts of electricity and energy that has infinite capacity from the soul? There doesn't come and then now your battery needs to be recharged, it's infinite power coming from the soul. That's what we said then, watch when Allah opens the reality for the servant. From the fire 70 trillion volts will come out from their eyes, that through their eyes they can burn anything that they see. And we have in the lives of awliya these different examples. These awliya their eyes were so powerful they had to put dark glasses because if they looked at you, you would pass out. So. Where are these 70 trillion volts? That if you try to touch them, if they release 70 trillion volts, well what happened with you? you <laughs> yeah, so this, this science knows this reality, where are they? But Allah attached to us a regulator which is a shaitan and the shaitan's whole purpose is to pull your energy so that you don't have these volts. Anytime you listen to that shaitan follow the shaitan, eat from the shaitan, your voltage is gone. Our life was to come and fight that shaitan. That's why he said, Juja majuja jinn and oh, all the external people, you don't know anything from Qur'an, they're humans. And then you know, can't give a sobat in the comment section but we teach it later on the videos that what who, who, who's human? On seven billion people on this earth, Mawlana Shaykh Nazim Sultan al awliya said 99% and then you see even more, they're jinn, they're not human anymore. Where you saw see human beings? Human and son means the walaka karamna bani adam. The people of human and humanity, they're the people of paradise. Where are they now on this earth? That they glow and they have beautific character, they have lights, their hearts are filled with illumination and the knowledge is of home. You can't even talk about your home, you don't remember your home. Have you ever met a person who doesn't know their home? What do you call them? Imagine you walk down the street and say, where do you live? Say, I don't know. Where you came from? I don't know. What are you doing here? I don't know. You'd be very frightened of them. 
without using any bad words or derogative understandings. But somebody who doesn't know their home and where they came from, they're scary. So when you talk about Bani Adam, you have to at least know about the Malakut, that I came from there, I know the king, I know the realities, I know my home, I know where I came from, I represent my home on this earth. Those are very few. So who's left here then? The people who gave themselves to their jinn. As soon as you gave yourself to the jinn that Allah says is attached to you in the Qur'an, Allah said, I've attached the jinn to everyone. As soon as you give yourself to that jinn, you're a jinnan, you're the jinn. You're going to eat like him, talk like him, act like him, fiery, aggressive and uh, every moment something different. Because these are the bad ones, the, the flammable ones, they're flammable, combustible, explosive. And more and more you begin to look like them to you like a walking lizard with all sorts of markings on you, very explosive. They say horrific things, kill them all, burn them, nah, they say awful things. We post something and you see all of these people come. They're killing people now in the million, million children they probably killed. They keep giving a low number but that's not a low number, they killed a million people there. They give us a sacrifice for their god, for their demons so that they can get favours from their demons. And all the people in the audience, ah, yeah, 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 kill them all, kill them all, um, these are humans. So already Juj and Majuj uh, jinns are all here, imagine when they really come, Juj and is 400,000 nations. And Majuj is 400,000 nations, these are alien nations that are coming of jinn. So humans are not human anymore, they lost their humanity. They gave themselves to the creature inside and the creature has overtaken these people. InshaAllah. Hmm. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. Sayyidi, with the reality of Prophet's light being the source of all creation, has and does the Prophet appear in other dimensions and planets for other creations to guide them? Allah al-Khaliq is the one whom creates. So Allah's qudra and might hit the light of Muhammad Rasulullah creation comes into existence because it doesn't come into existence from La ilaha illallah or in La ilaha illallah. It comes from the power of Allah but that creation doesn't come within La ilaha illallah because La ilaha illallah is clear, it says La, it's just illallah so there's nothing there. Allah's qudra and might, the creation is not there. So Allah's qudra and might hit the ocean of Muhammad Rasulullah and then more creation comes into existence. So then don't look outside but call insana common. Imagine now this soul contains everything. So inside the soul of Prophet are all galaxies and universes infinitely. How many cells do you produce on a day? How many cells come into existence? Who's the doctor there? Dr. Naveet knows. How many cells a day do you produce here? Uh, entire new body and daily how many cells we, we have coming into existence and then how many cells are going out of existence? It's like entire galaxies. Billions, billions of, of cells that are dying and billions of cells are being rejuvenated, you're an entire galaxy, just you. Stars going out of existence, stars coming into existence. And just one insan, that's why we said the insan of common is, we used to see cartoons and movie shows as a child where they would make these people small and they would go inside a body. But look to just yourself and say the amazing reality of just your body, you have cells that are defense, you have cells that are serving food, you have cells that are doing this and doing that, you have an entire 
creation within your existence and in vast and huge numbers. How many miles of veins does a person have? How do they have the 11 essential organs just like uh, the 11 planets? You have a sun and a moon, your heart is the sun, your head is the moon. So Allah created for you an entire galaxy, you are a walking galaxy. Once you know yourself Allah will give you command of His external galaxy. But when you can't command yourself, how you can be given the command of an external galaxy, an external reality of the kingdom of light? You want to work for the kingdom of light then control your dunya kingdom. Control your heart is most essential, if your heart is not illuminated it doesn't understand how it's going to have light, it has to have La ilaha illallah and has to have the ishq and muhabbat of Muhammad Rasulullah and sparks the heart. As a result the heart become lit and begins to light the moon and their head and their faces become luminous because of Qamarun. And then everything else has to be governed. How are you going to govern all your organs? It's with the breath of mercy, nafas al rahmah. It's a divine and nourishing breath that comes and dresses all the organs of the body. And how are you going to feed your galaxy so that it's not fed by shaitans and that your galaxy become overridden by demonic presence? It means your heart has to be clean. Your breath has to be clean and your heart has to be making dhikr of Allah so that it burns the shaitans that are coming through your blood, through your breath, through your lungs and into your blood, into your heart. Only by the dhikr of Allah What is the dhikr of Allah Allah's dhikr is, in Allahi wa malaikatuhu yusalloon ala nabi. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad because you're praising Allah, Wa Ali Sayyidina Muhammad This is the dhikr of Allah and the dhikr of angels. When you make that dhikr the heart becomes fire and any blood passing through it is being clean, dhikrullahi tatmaina qulub. The only way to burn the fire and the heart and the blood is that the heart is lit with dhikr and any shaitan trying to pass into that blood will be burned. That's why they don't go to the heart of the Ahlul Dhikr because they're not going to go there and get burned. And as soon as that blood passes through inside the blood is a hadat iron. That's what makes the heart to be red. That iron will attach the qudra of Allah upon that iron. So as soon as it passes into the heart the fire cleanses it of all bad spirits and then stamps the iron with dhikr and then nazma and qudra. That power then goes through all of the organs of the body. So then they become lit, they're continuously walking power plants. Now we understand, okay this is where the 70 trillion cells lie. When you want to illuminate the cells then it has to be with the dhikr, with the meditation, the tafakkur so shaitan is not entering the heart, not making an attack upon the heart. So this is the immense realities of tafakkur and contemplation. That's why get the, the timeless reality, study the timeless reality. And <clears throat> study the qudra, the whole curriculum. We have the book on angelic qudra, so what is power? Angelic power is this heavenly lights and energies, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Wa Alaikum Salaam wa Sayyidi, in the Prophet's soul where do the people of zikr and tariqah reside? Around the heart because where is zikr? Where is zikr for you? You don't do zikr in here, 
So I said, we are a sample of the Muhammadan haqqaiq. Whatever we're doing for ourselves is what? We're trying to bring the love of Allah into our heart, bring the love of Prophet onto our light. So our light has to be Muhammadun Rasulullah, ma fi qalbi ghayrullah, nur Muhammad because your nur is not Allah because you're not shariq with Allah Bring the power of Allah into the heart and make your light to be Muhammadun Rasulullah Then you become walking La ilaha illallah and Muhammadun Rasulullah because that's the haqqaiq. Because the power of Allah is continuously powering Muhammadun Rasulullah So if your light is Muhammadiyun then your heart is the reality of La ilaha illallah. That La ilaha illallah is the entire power for your light under Muhammad of Rasulullah So this becomes the immense power, immense, immense power. This is the power that burn away shaitans, this is the power that bring lights and illumination and this is the power of the Holy Qur'an. As soon as the Qur'an looks to you, reads your biometrics and understands that Muhammad Rasulullah is in this person's light and begins to reveal itself to the servant. Otherwise there's no way to steal the knowledge of Qur'an. They tried that, uh, they said every, every intelligence office on this earth studies the Qur'an. So it's not a secret that they can achieve unless they have the light of Muhammad Rasulullah Ma fi qal bi ghayrullah nur Muhammadun sallallahu The Qur'an looks at that phrase, there's nothing in their heart, no badness but Allah and the nur coming from that servant's eyes is all Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu Immediately the Qur'an encryption code like your… like we said all of these uh, crypto is showing what? These are all encrypted codes. And begins to reveal itself. And the muqattaat are what? Are 14. These are seed phrases. Uh, uh, uh. So you came onto the earth and you lost your wallet. People who don't do crypto don't know what I'm talking about. But when we first started to play with the crypto our tech guys are teaching us, Shaykh these are the seed words, 12 and some of the more advanced one, 24 words, random words, golf cart, mowing, whatever the words. They said, don't lose this 12 words or 24 words, any wallet you put it back in will rebuild your wallet of whatever crypto you put into it. Everyone will try to steal your words so that they can reproduce your wallet somewhere else. This is a technology came on this dunya but what was the original technology? That Allah put upon the Qur'an what we described, it's not going to give anything to the servant unless it sees that the heart is clean with Allah and the light is Muhammadun Rasulullah and as a result the Qur'an also has seed words. The muqattaat which are 14 are seed words. Is it 14 or 28? Those seed words have to be unlocked and they have to be remembered. So we came on to the dunya and we lost that. And our life is to regain that. InshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. Sayyidi, what is the reality of Shaykh Abdullah Dagestani of reviving his heart by doing zikr of La ilaha illallah when he was passing on to the world of light? Uh, very powerful dhikr. InshaAllah. 
you have to do the dhikr and uh, we have the talk on the re re reality of La ilaha illallah and reviving the heart with Muhammad Rasulullah Sayyidi, Assalamu Alaikum huh? What happened? Are you, are you continuing? <laughs> no, let's stay on the subjects that we're talking about, don't go left and right because then we're, we're going to throw me off, yeah. That's it. Subhana rafiqa rabbil izzata amman yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Fatiha and Surah Kareem, Ameen. InshaAllah Azzawajal dress us and bless us. We have a whole section on the muqattat and uh, ilmu huruf and the letters, I don't know if it's 14, 28, 29, inshaAllah. Anybody interested in that they can read that section and these are the seed codes that unlock the heart and the Holy Qur'an for the servant inshaAllah. InshaAllah bi niyata khatmi khawjukan wa a'udhu billahi min ash-shaitanir rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu Muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah وَأَشْهَدُ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدًا عَبْدُهُ وَرَسُولُهُ أَشْهَدُ أَنْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَأَشْهَدُ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدًا عَبْدُهُ وَرَسُولُهُ أَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ 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 أَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ
محمد علم نشر لک شریف بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم علم نشر لک صدرک و ودعنا انکا وزرک اللذی انکر ظہرک و رفعنا لک ذکرک و اینا معل اسر اسرا اینا معل اسر اسرا و اذا فرقت فنصب و الى ربک فر اللہ اکبر بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم علم نشر لک صدرک و ودعنا انکا وزرک اللذی انکر ظہرک و رفعنا لک ذکرک و اینا معل اسر اسرا اینا معل اسر اسرا و اذا فرقت فنصب و الى ربک موسیقی اللہ سمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوان الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله وهذا الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوان هذا الله أكبر فاتحة الشريف بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهل للصراط المستقيم صراط الذين نمت عليهم المغو يرحم ولا دعالين آمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إذن الزراط المستقيم الزراط الذين نمت عليهم المغضوب عليهم والضالين آمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إذن الزراط المستقيم الزراط الذين نمت عليهم المغضوب عليهم والضالين آمين صلوات الشريف الله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم 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 صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم علیہ جمیل انبیاء والمرسلین والگو نجمعین والحمدللہ رب العالمین بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم علیہ شرف نبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم علیہ وصحابہ الکرام شیخنا فی طریق نقش بندی تلالیہ خاصتا علیہ روحی میں طریق وقت خلیق خواب جشن نقش بند محمد ویسی البخاری و سلطان علیہ اولیہ شیخ عبداللہ فائز الداغستانی و سلطان علیہ شیخ محمد نازم عادل حقانی مولانا شیخ شام قبانی شیخ ادان قبانی شیخ محمد عادل یقوت الخواس مولانا شیخ نوجم رحمدی مولانا عبدالخالی والوجدوانی صاحب الزمان سید محمد مهدی علیہ السلام روح اللہ سید عیسیٰ علیہ السلام صحیف اللہ سید علی علیہ السلام ثم سید عبکر الصدیق سید عمر سید عثمان امون حسن علیہ السلام امون حسین علیہ السلام سیداتنا فاطمہ زا علیہ السلام مسائل صداتنا و صدقین بسی رسول الفاتحہ قلم أنه لا إله إلا الله 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 
Moha Shavillahu Ala bi zikrillahi tatma'innu al-kulub Bala ya Allah 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 Yeah, hey, 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 hey
Ya Allah, 
Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Bismillahirrahmanirrahim 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 Ya Rasulullah, Madad Madad, 
مدد 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 يا رسول الله مدد 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 يا حبيب الله مدد 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 يا شفي الله يا غالبا غير مغلوب يا غالبا غير مغلوب يا غالبا غير مغلوب يا شاهدا غير مغيب يا شاهدا غير مغيب يا شاهدا غير مغيب يا قاربا غير بعيد يا قاربا غير بعيد يا قاربا غير بعيد يا غالبا غير مغلوب يا غالبا غير مغلوب يا غالبا غير مغلوب صلوات اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل 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 محمد وسلم صل يا ربي وسلم جميع أنبياءه والمرسلين وكل أجمعين والحمد لله رب العالمين على شرف العالمين سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم على أفضل العالمين سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه Allah Ahmad ila alamina Sayyidina Muhammadin salawat Salawat Allahi ta'ala wa malaikati wa anbiyahi wa rasulihi wa jami khadki ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad alayhi wa alayhi wa salam wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu wa radiyallahu tabarakatuhu ala saadatan ashaba Rasulillahi ajma'een wa ni ta'abi'een anbi ihsan wa ahimmat al-murshidin al-mahdin wa al-ulamahi al-muttaqeen wa al-awliyahi al-salihin wa mashayikhina fi tariqatan ashbandiyyata al-aliyya wa adasallahu ta'ala arhumu zakiyya nawar Allah ta'ala adurtahum mubarakah wa adalai ta'ala min barakatihim wa fuyudatihim daiman wa hamdalillahi rabbil alameen al-fatiha Ali Shafat ya Rasul al-Kareem ya Khabib al-Nazim inshaAllah for this blessed night Laylatul Qadr InshaAllah Allah grant all of us a himmah to share the stream, share the videos, share the knowledges, share the articles for those whom are making images and articles and reels and Allah give them more strength that through this khidmat, this service that Allah dress us and bless us and prepare us for the month of Rabbil Awwal and Miladul Nabi and anyone whom wishing to support these are the nights in which to support for the milad. And for any of the programs, the qurban, the zakat, all of these, these are the nights, uh, the blessed nights in which Allah to multiply, infinitely multiply these uh, blessings and these realities and give us the strength and the ability to produce uh, very beatific mawlids uh, across this globe for the sake of the love of Prophet and for our love to show to everyone, to our, ourselves, our families and our communities. The, the amount of the love that we have for Sayyidina Muhammad just this group of uh, small people how much can be accomplished with ishq and muhabbat Allah inshaAllah grant us the, the himmah and the strength to do what is needed to be done inshaAllah. Wa hurmat Muhammad and Mustafa wa bi siri surat and Fatiha. InshaAllah we posted the, the awrad for tonight and uh, all of the different practices to be recited and uh, for whatever ability people have, inshaAllah the moderators will post the link. We posted the link on the live comment and you can find it on the social media. The guys have posted all over social media inshaAllah the, the adab and on the, on the app it has the, the adab under Ramadan 
what needs to be recited, it says the adab for Laylatul Qadr inshaAllah and all the recitations and people can spend the night in, in worshipness, stay up until the, the fajr, eat the, the food that you need to eat and pray your Salatul Fajr and uh, inshaAllah make your du'as and we are already blessed with the love of Sayyidina Muhammad that we gathered for the sake of that love that is already the greatest gift that Allah can give inshaAllah. Allah dress everyone, bless everyone and forgive me. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Take care guys inshaAllah. Every step is a doorway into discovery and connection. Enter the updated Muhammadan Way app. Your Islamic companion made with the seeker in mind. Now enriched with over 30 innovative features. Dive into the wisdom of thousands of holy hadiths. Immerse yourself in the full holy Quran with comprehensive search, audio and multiple translations. Experience guidance at its best. Stay in tune with the Islamic events calendar. From du'as for every occasion to digital tasbih and prayer times. your daily practice ad free join a global community of over 100,000 believers with the Muhammadan way app embracing your faith has never been easier download the Muhammadan